Podcast. I was just asking Pete Mangione if uh, this is about seasonal temperatures because we've been so spoiled. I know. With the warmer temperatures that I wasn't even sure. Is this right? I, how does this work? This is right around normal. <laughs> That's exactly how it works a little okay. bit. This is normal, but it doesn't feel normal because yeah. we've been in the 60s and the 70s, and today, of course, feels a whole lot different, especially with that bitter northeasterly wind out there. That'll be around for quite a while. <laughs> What will not be around today is rain. And you can see that clearly right now with our scans on live pinpoint Doppler 12. Weather headlines for the next several days show that the mild stretch is over. And if you've been outside this morning, you already know that. The northeast breeze will be with us for the next several days, keeping temperatures on the cool side. And we'll, we will be watching a storm winding up the northeast. Actually, that's part of the remnants of Ida. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Down City Providence, we have the mostly cloudy skies, temperature of 54 degrees, and those breezes are a little bit unpleasant right now out of the northeast at 20 miles an hour. Jim in West Warwick, he says it's mostly cloudy and breezy with a temperature of 53. We're at 52 degrees at Cranston East High School. Johnston at the St. Rocco School reporting 47. And in, and in Portsmouth, the St. Philomena School reporting 50 degrees. 50 right now in Smithfield, 50 Newport, and 55 in Westerly. Temperatures not moving very far from the values we're seeing right now. You can see that band of clouds now stretching across New England. Out here to the north, we actually have some sunshine, but some of these clouds hanging tough. But they are the high, thin type of clouds, so at times the sun will be able to poke through those. High pressure continues to pump cool air down from the north. It will also squash away this massive amount of precipitation that you see right here. It will keep it away today. It will keep it away tomorrow. And then Saturday becomes a different story. Here's one of the reasons why. Here are what I'm calling the leftovers of what was Hurricane Ida. You can see it's a center of low pressure in the Florida panhandle. Plenty of moisture out ahead of this, and as the center of low pressure winds up the coast, it's gonna throw at least the potential of some showers our way. So here's what we're looking at for Saturday. Center of low pressure parks itself just offshore, far away enough, I think, to keep the heavy rain out over the ocean, but it'll be close enough to bring in some wind starting Friday night into Saturday, and it will also bring in some showers. Now, we're not talking about a washout the entire day, but we'll see the chance of showers moving in Friday night all the way through early Sunday morning. Not raining the whole time, but the potential of some showers will be there. And this forecast for the weekend is very dependent on the track of that center of low pressure. So stay tuned tonight. Tony will have uh, the latest updates. Filtered sun today with some breezy conditions. High temperatures 51 to 56 degrees. We'll call it partly cloudy tonight with low temperatures 35 to 40. At along the uh, shore today, 52 in Charlestown, 54 Coventry. Northern Rhode Island temperatures in the mid-50s, 55 Burville, And a bit cooler out across the Cape with 50 Hyannis. And uh, eastern Massachusetts temperatures in the mid-50s with 56 in Plymouth. Seven-day future cast keeps it dry tomorrow with a high temperature of 54 degrees. And keep in mind, both today and tomorrow will be breezy. And then those breezes will really crank up Friday night into Saturday. I will also introduce the chance oh. of some showers starting late Friday night into yeah. Saturday. Possibly spilling into Sunday morning, although I'm still optimistic about that Sunday afternoon forecast drying things out. If you want the latest updates on that seven-day future cast, you can always tune in mm. to Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. Well, one thing we like about you, Pete, you're always optimistic, and we like that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's all I can do, really. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yep. Now.